His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess, dusk till dawn. If only she were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait.
gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. And at the time, it was a great intro, but it will never be seen again, for it was a jank game. What's up guys, the Trickster Eticity here, here bringing you Witcher 1. Yes, Witcher 1, as in the very first Witcher game. Now, now well, the Witcher has been gone through a lot of adventures. And has been a household name over the years, thanks to the Netflix adaptation and, well, of course, the games. But, of course, Witcher didn't get popular, the, the series itself didn't get popular until The Witcher 2. Now, why is that? Why isn't the first game the one that sparked the entire, you know, Witcher franchise? Why did it, why did it take a while until... Until I've. Well, first off, a little bit of background. Witcher, the Witcher series was a Polish book series. Series, a fantasy book series uh, chronicling the legends of Gelt of Rivia, a witch, a man who is a bounty hunter slash monster specialist known as the Witcher. And well, that event, that kind of interest later sparked on to create a game by CD Projekt Red under by where of all people. Yes, that Bioware. That same Bioware would later go on to uh, make the Mass Effect series also had this game. Also was kind of maybe the publisher for this game. And I think maybe it came on after that I'm not sure I may have to double check on that but for the most part Witcher uh, continued on uh, continued on despite you know the fact that the first thing wasn't exactly a good game people called it jank it was essentially Euro jank but then again given that CD Projekt Red was somewhat new at the time at th this they didn't get their exact footing yet and CD Pro the Thread would later try to expand on that and create Witcher 2, which was how the series finally got into the big deal it was today. Things happened, got a good sequel, great popularity, furthermore, it was kind of a big deal. It wasn't a one and it was a one and done. But they had their lightning in a bottle once they did the sequel. Now I'll be playing through the first game, mostly because I don't have the second, but for the most part, I think that the first game should be learned to at least sort of enjoy the experience, and I know it'll probably be hella janky, probably even kind of borderline unplayable, but we're not sure. I mean, this is my first time playing the Witcher series. Well, the first of the Witcher series, so let's see if the rumors of it being jank is as it appears to be, or if it's ju just, well, baseline rumor. And with that, let's go on ahead. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering what had happened to the witchers. 
The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270, five years after the Great War. Everything's all right. I have no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I remember nothing. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Karamoran. Tris. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. Explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we go. <gasps> I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kermoran. Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The Professor promised 50 orans for every freak we kill. He's mine! Vesemir, 
We got company. I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. How do you feel? I mean... Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Now, okay. This was, uh... It's very jank. Uh... Let me check, uh... The... Okay, so the controls are very odd and very Euro jank, jank, as is expected of a uh, first game like this. This, and as you may notice, Geralt looks some. Um, uh, no offense, but uh, he, he looks like a five out of ten. And there's an explanation for that. For, for you see, back uh, when, uh, we, as we all know, eventually. Uh, the games of The Witcher later just went on to do their own thing. But the very first one is a little bit more book accurate, so to say. This is what Geralt actually looks like in the books, as he is described in this text, and I'm probably gonna show or not, but, but whatever. But for the most part, he looks scraggly, a, lo a little bit too... Um, not quite as fit and firm, and he doesn't even have that iconic kind of like good-looking model-like face that we later see in the later pictures. So this is how close you get to an actual to an actual like Witcher game in a sense. Sense while you. No, most of the crew are here. It's more or less the most book accurate, and I kind of admire admire CD Projekt Red for going uh, the other way or uh, going their own way. Because for the most part, I think they, if, it, if it went on the way as it did, I don't think these kinds of books would be appreciated in today's landscape, especially since they look more like what early PC models rather than rather than actual, like, full-blown one character model, uh, fly one character models with eye detail. But yeah, right now we're being attacked in Care Mo in our own home Care More. Of course, of course, there are only a few witches around, so 
Things are not looking good. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate. They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The Professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Yep, chain attacks kill enemies more efficiently. Left click only when the cursor changes to a flaming sword. Mess with me and die. Squeal. Look at that. That's so jank. It's so funny. Uh, but so far, I don't think I've been losing that much health. Bit odd, but... You'll regret the day you were born. with me and die. Oh. 
Oh god, that's so cheap. I can never get enough of this. I can never know this. It's so cheap. So bad. But it's good. Here's the fast time to beat agile opponents. The day you were born. You know that? Come on. Thank you. Yeah, active pause mode. No, oh, you can actually like pause the game just so that you can switch through the styles, which is beneficial, I guess. See that? No way through here. Follow me, back to Savola. I'll make you squeal. You'll 
regret the day you were born. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Truth may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to hit him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away, I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Maybe, maybe you will, if, if, if you don't keep saying shit like that. Mess with me and die. I'll make you squeal. The day you were born, mess with me and die. And get up. Yeah, two witchers against three bandits. What did you expect was going to happen? I mean, you were just asking for it. The group says the bandit against groups of weaker points. I will have to say about the Witcher is 
said, it's quite, it's kind of, um, it's a good thing to have these sorts of uh, fight styles, because I think it adds to the strategy. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. Yeah. I think it adds strategy on how you should fight as Witcher. Now, let me remind you that this is basically just an RT. The energy uh, you annexed an from the RTS, circle of elements is enough to stop the witches? You person. trembled, yet you complained Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead I might add is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. We're cut off! The stairs are blocked! The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us! Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Sign. Now, ards are essentially like runic signs. Uh, you can use they are used for magic. Pretty cool. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. Yeah, we'll see in a minute. Already a success. Yep. <laughs> What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child, it didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Oh, this is a choice! This is pretty nice, given the circumstance. Now, one part of me would suggest one go to the waifu. But, you know, I mean, bros before hoes. Then again, if I were going with the pragmatic choice, of course, you gotta protect- The lab is important. I'm going to Triss. Your, um... Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through.
Watch out! There's that burnt ass motherfucker. Quickly, defend the laboratory. Anywho, pragmatism-wise, yeah, we should defend the lab, because you should defend the mutagens. Otherwise, well, who knows what you could do with it? They could make more witchers. This which... could be a hard fight, Geralt. Uh, Take this potion. It's witchers a bad thing to be a witcher. Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting right. mages. Well, thanks. and you need to Let's be go. a certain quality to be a witcher. And, well, you know... Bunch of experiments will happen, bad shit. Just generally, the lab is a very important place to defend, so let's do just that. You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic lights is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger. This is... Yep, here comes them. Oh, great, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Cool. You know, just cast a magic shield. That's fine. Oh, you call me a bitch? Okay. You can do it. He's not that fast. What do you mean he's not that fast? Has he just teleported up my ass? Okay. Gotcha. Fuck. Okay, that, okay, that is the wrong right attack. That's because you decided to jump more like a little bitch. Jesus Christ, die already. Okay, you're gonna jump more again. Nobody messes with Salamandra. Nobody! Wow. Oh. There's a rule for witches that you don't fucking mess with witches, and with good reason. This is my power. There's a guy with 10 HP left, and I killed him. Oh. Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savola's eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. Uh, I think we should double tap. Maybe cut off his head. Just saying. Uh, just a drink to regen the health, please. Just, uh, hmm, this is a very, very slow-acting potion. Uh, I may re I'm going to return at when it finally stops.
And okay, that took a while. Jeebus. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mage is... Uh, I underestimated him. Hurry. Well, you did well for yourself. Get to the lab. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Let's see. Leo, stop! <gasps> no, you were almost. A day till actual work. Another fairy tale. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it! Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witches, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Left click on the meditation icon. Dialogue to enter meditation mode. Basically, this is you how later. you do waiting. And or, um... Well, waiting and, uh, I think it was was, uh, fuck. And, uh, healing. Basically, because he healing does happen over time, you kind of have to learn how to be a little bit careful. Cool. And so you're gonna have to, you know, meditate a little. No. That's, uh, wardrobe. See what I can see. They once laid me down here. Mosses and grasses. The smell is heady. Yeah, this place is just... All that's missing is a mage who'd know how to use this. Well, that sucks, but okay. Yes? Meditate till the dawn. Fade to black and nothing changed. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious but stable. That's a relief. 
I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first, we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later, I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. So you say that fucking... Uh, really that Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in the crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Where's the calcium equum again? In the evening hall, inside a chest. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. Yep, uh, yeah, what will you be doing? You just gotta go, did you? Ah, you know, the upper hall where, where I can't reach from these stairs. Oh, goody. Just gotta go find the other set of stairs, I guess. Witcher George, slaying the dragon. And that's a little bit of an historical reference. Yep, that, uh, that is a little bit of an historical reference. Defending common folk. Inspiring. I mean, in general. Maybe that's what witches do. They're gonna get the more cell swords, not, not actual. Not so many more. Oh, fuck. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. That! Okay, you wanna go? Miss 
with me and die. Squeal. No, you're not. Just die. Check this room over here. Some goose fit. Salt Peter. Really useful for Mexico Seagull. I'll drink that one just in case. Mess with me and die. I'll make you squeal. Going on there. Another barrel. Is this the armory? Challenge the Salamandra. Oh, there's the 
Indeed, there's nothing more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature are known by the name of Witcher, as they are the offspring of false sorcery and witchcraft. They are unscrupulous scoundrels whose conscience and virtue veritable creatures from hell capable only of taking lives. They have no place against decent and honest folk. And this Cam Morin, where, the vi where, the where these villains snatch and practice foul rituals, must be wiped off the face of the earth, and all evil traits of it need to be treated with salt and saltpeter to complete the dead. Or complete the deed. You know, we're, ju we're just mercenaries. It didn't need to be that big of a dick. Uh, yeah, w w yeah, we already know. Uh, shit. Uh, wait, there's a drop item here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that, okay, I'll, I'll accept it. Ooh, daggers. Some axes. Gotta get more than one weapon. Let me just save that before we do anything stupid. Ah. No, oh, damn it, invisible wall. God damn you, game. Why won't you give me freedom of exploration? Uh. Well, I mean, you know, I don't care if it causes fall damage. At least give me something. Fall off of. That's not explicit to fall off of, but rather just a shortcut. What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion the claw of a mighty beast and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Potions. Oh well. That's fine. But before we talk about Vesem Vesemir, let's end it right here. So, we've got attacked the Care Morin, Triss is injured, Leo's dead, and we're now off to go find potions, probably slay some beasts and get get outside and grab some good food. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like in this video like it and leave a comment down below i always love to hear how much i can improve this play through by doing better uh <laughs> shit shit my speech is now janky as they are fuck uh but anywho i'll see you guys in the next video until then keep on shocking